Our first honoree tonight is the chairman and CEO of Sherwin-Williams Corporation, one of the largest paint companies in America. He is the largest in America, but one of the largest actually in the entire world. The Harvard Business Review recently named him one of the top 100 CEOs globally in the world. In addition to his business accomplishment, his commitment to education in this community is well documented. Now, I know that the president of his alma mater, Walsh Jesuit, is here tonight. His name is Carl Ertel, and Chris told me that he's a lot younger than him, but he's here and he wasn't a student. I said, uh, I said to Chris, I says, he's very proud of you, and Chris says, well, he wasn't. He wasn't there when I was there, so, but he's here tonight. So the president of Walsh Jesuit is very proud of, his, of the former student. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, why don't you meet our honoree, Chris Connor. Thank you, Jerry. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I had that accent. <laughs> I am uh, humbled and flattered to receive this recognition tonight in a room full of people I, I love and respect and call my fellow countrymen. And particularly tonight as you meet my fellow recipients and the past recipients in the room, this really is a, a special evening for me. So thank you very much. Uh, two of my lifelong uh, mentors and personal heroes are actually in the room tonight. Uh, Jim Boland, who's a past recipient of this award as well, and was a director at the Sherwin's Company for many years, was kind enough last year to invite me to join him for lunch when the Prime Minister of Ireland was in the country. And the Taoiseach uh, uh, joined us for a very small gathering. Uh, and Enda Kenny, I can tell you, is a great, great guy. I was so taken with this man, and afterwards I were, was telling Jim just how warm and engaging I found him, and Jim said, Chris, he's a politician and an Irishman. It's the God's <laughs> finest creation he put on the earth, for God's sake. What did you expect? And Enda was uh, telling us at this lunch that uh, Ireland is going through a remarkable event this year. Many of you I know know this. They're calling it the gathering, where Ireland, with open arms, is welcoming all of us back in to the Emerald Isle uh, to be reconnected. Because today in Ireland, there are 4.5 million citizens. And around the rest of the world, there are 70 million people of Irish descent. A good number of them in this room tonight, as I can see, by this remarkable turnout. So if you're so inclined or have the opportunity or want to help the organization here do a little research, what a great year to, to go back and, and be welcome into that terrific environment. My second hero is Jack Breen, who for 20 years uh, predated me as the chairman and CEO at Sherman Williams and really saved the company, uh, was the moral backbone and fiber and integrity and turned me into the businessman I am today. And I would like to just point out that among many accomplishments, and a few of them were noted from the podium already, of what we've been able to do as a company in this community, that for the last 35 years, about a fourth of the entire life cycle of our 147-year-old company, we have had solid Irish leadership. Yeah. At Sherwin Williams. <laughs> and along with my sidekick over here, Sean Patrick Hennessy, yeah. the finest CFO ever, uh, we've, we've really are proud of a number of accomplishments. But perhaps the greatest thing that we have done in our time is that we have substantially enhanced and strengthened the green color palette of the Sherwin Williams family. <laughs> thought we would give a little inspiration to you. And, and just let me read some of these colors to try to catch your imagination. Wouldn't your room look good painted sprout, grape green, leapfrog, garden spot, spinach, gratifying green, supreme green, lounge green, relish, topiary, cilantro, dancing green, picnic, cucumber, grasshopper, Kilkenny, shamrock, or my personal favorite, paradise. <laughs> because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, when I think of paradise, I think about that Emerald Isle 
or being the comfort of our fellow Irishmen, or in any pub in any country in Ireland, you are absolutely in paradise. Thank you very much for this award.